Well, good morning, SECC family, and welcome back to our journey through the Bible. We are in 1 Chronicles, chapters 3, 4, and 5. Triple play today. Stick around. Chapter 3. These are the sons of David who were born to him in Hebron. The firstborn, Amnon by Ahinoam, the Jezreelite. The second, Daniel by Abigail, the Carmelite. The third, Absalom, whose mother was Megah, the daughter of Talmi, king of Geshur. The fourth, Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith. The fifth, Shepatiah by Abital. The sixth, Ithrim by his wife Eglah. Six were born to him in Hebron, where he reigned for seven years and six months, and he reigned thirty-three years in Jerusalem. These were born to him in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. Four by Bathshua, the daughter of Amiel, then Ibhar, Elishama, Eliphalet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Aleda, and Ephala 9, all these were David's sons, besides the sons of the concubines, and Tamar was their sister. <coughs> the son of Solomon was Rehoboam, Abijah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son. Manasseh, his son, Amon, his son, Josiah, his son, the sons of Josiah, Johanan, the firstborn, the second, Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, the fourth, Shalom, the descendants of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah, his son, Zedekiah, his son, and the sons of Jeconiah, the captive, Shealtiel, his son, Melchorim, Pedaliah, Pediah, rather, Shenazar, Jechemiah, Hoshama, and Nadabiah. The sons of Padiah, Zerubbabel, and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel, Meshalem, and Hananiah. And Shalomith was their sister. And Hashuba, Ohel, Berachia, Hazadiah, and Jushab, Hesed, five. The sons of Hananiah, Palladia, and Jeshia, his son, Rephaia, his son, Arnan, his son, Obadiah, his son, Shechaniah, the son of Shechaniah, Shemiah, and the sons of Shemiah, Hattush, Igel, Beria, Neria, and Shaphat, six, the sons of Neria, Alonia, his, his Kia and Azrakam three, the sons of Elonia, Hadovia, Eliashib, Peliah, Akub, Johanan, Deliah, and Anani, seven. Chapter five. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn. But because he defiled his father's couch, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, so that he could not be enrolled as the oldest son. Though Judah became strong among his brothers, and a chief came from him, yet the birthright belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micah his son, Riah his son, Baal his son, Bera his son, whom Tiglath Pelizir, king of Assyria, carried away into exile. He was a chief of the Reubenites and his kinsmen by their clans. When the genealogy of their generations was recorded, the chief Jeel and Zechariah and Bala, the son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel, who lived in Aror, as far as Nebo and Belmeon. He also lived in the east as far as the entrance of the desert 
this side of the Euphrates because their livestock had multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul, they waged war against the Hagrites who fell into their hands, and they lived in their tents throughout all the region east of Gilead. The sons of Gad lived over against them in the land of Bashan as far as Salica, Joel the chief, Shapham the second, Jani and Shaphat in Bashan, and their kinsmen according to their father's houses, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jacan, Zia, and Eber, seven. These were the sons of Abihel, the son of Hurri, son of Jorah, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Jeshishai, son of Jado, son of Buzz. Ahi, son of Abdeel, son of Gunai, was chief of their father's houses, and they lived in Gilead, in Bashan, in, in, in its towns, in, in all the pasture lands of Sharon, to their limits. All of these were recorded in genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and half-tribe of Manasseh had valiant men who carried shield and sword and drew the bow, expert in war, 44,760, able to go to war. They waged war against the Hagrites, Jeter, Naphish, and Nodab, and when they prevailed over them, the Hagrites and all who were with them were given into their hands. For they cried out to God in the battle, and he granted their urgent plea, because they trusted in him. They carried off their livestock, 50,000 of their camels, 250,000 sheep, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 men alive. For many fell because the war was of God, and they lived in their place until the exile. The members of the half-tribe of Manasseh lived in the land. They were very numerous from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Senior to Mount Hermon. These were the heads of their father's houses, Ephraim, Ishi, <coughs> Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel, mighty warriors, famous men, heads of their father's houses. But they broke faith with the God of their fathers and hoard after the gods of the peoples of the land whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, the spirit of Tiglath, Pileser, king of Assyria, and he took them into exile, namely the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them to Hala, Habor, Hara, and the river Gozan to this day. It's going to wrap up our reading in chapters 3, 4, and 5 of First Chronicles. A lot of names still, but these genealogies, we got to know who they are, well, how it all fits together, we just we don't understand all the accounts in the Old Testament. Sure don't understand what's going on in the New Testament without getting through some of these genealogies and knowing who who connects to who and where and how and, and, and we just need to know that stuff. Yeah, it's a little difficult reading. It's probably a little listening, a little bit difficult to listen to as well, but it is what it is. It's stuff that we need to get into. It's stuff that we need to know. So, we get our way through it, and until we meet again tomorrow, I would ask that the Lord would richly bless you, yes, you, if you are following him. Have a great and godly day, and I will see you again tomorrow.